Good day, Rich Rallians. Once again, I am Mr. Victor Talastas Reyes, and today we are so honored and blessed to have here with us um, the graphic artist and animator from the multimedia department of Team OPS Incorporated. It is all welcome, Mr. Mark Simon Dino. Let's give him a big round of applause virtually. Thank you, guys. Good day, Mr. Mark Dino. How are you? Po? Kamusta po? Uh, feeling great. Actually, kakakuha ko lang ng grocery no morning. <laughs> so, yeah. And nervous as well kasi it's my first time having this kind of conversation. Sorry, thank you very much po for greeting our event. Maraming maraming salamat po for being one of our resource speakers para po sa ating um, Career Forum 2020 sa dito po sa Regional College that's incorporated. So, this Today, Paul, we would like to ask you some questions about your career and how you can possibly inspire our Israelians on their journey to reaching success and prosperity. So first, sir, um, we would like to know, um, can you please share with us your college and career life journey? Um, pwede niyo po bang ibahagi sa amin yung inyo pong journey nung kayo po ay student and now that you are a professional? Thank you, sir. Uh, hi everyone again. I'm Mark Simon Dino. Um, I graduated uh, in multi as a multimedia arts designer, and um, I've been in the design industry uh, for more than a decade, uh, 12 years to be exact. My work ranges from uh, doing some flyers, brochures, pamphlets, magazines, t-shirts designs, logo designs, website designs, videos and animations. And uh, currently, I'm focusing on user experience design and uh, uh, user uh, interface design, uh, both of which are different but are related to each other. Uh, before anything else, I would like to say that I believe that design ideas, actually ideas are can come from anywhere and uh, from anyone, regardless of uh, status, of religion, of country, of beliefs, and of preference. Even a mere beggar can give you a very good idea, and uh, only if heard. But ideas are just ideas. It won't. It ideas can live only if being executed properly. And for that, I thank you. <laughs> um, but seriously, um, back in 2006, hindi ko actually naisip na makakapag, kumakapag-college pa ba ako. The reason mm -hmm. is because maraming problema that time. Life was hard. Um, so, pero yung parents ko actually ay nag-persevere. Ginapang talaga nila. And uh, we found out that TESDA uh, was offering a scholarship at uh, that time. So I prepared for it, took the exam, and then eventually I passed. Tapos nung tiningnan ko yung curriculum, ay yung mga courses na ino-offer nung TESDA that time, lahat ay computer-related courses. Tapos ako, I was hoping na some parang meron ako makukuha doon na courses na gusto ko talaga kasi back when you were in high school meron ka ng mga nasa isip mo na, na gusto mong kunin na courses eh. pero wala doon lahat computer related courses and uh takot ako sa computer actually oh i wasn't oh yeah i wasn't a really uh, a computer fan guy <laughs> so nang nalaman ko nga na ganun sa bro oh, gagawin ko the idea of taking multimedia design was my father's idea. Sabi niya kasi, uh, Mac, mahilig ka naman mag-drawing eh. Uh, ba't di mo try? Sabi niya gano'n. So sabi ko, sige, tinignan ko yung curriculum ng multimedia design. And I, I found out mayroon part na animation uh, using Macromedia Flash MX. So sobrang cool siya that time. Pero sobrang old na niya. And um, sabi ko, shit, oh, I'm curious. So tinry ko, Tapos pumasok ako nun sa school uh, na, na, part ng, na partner ng TESDA that time. 
um, hindi din siya naging madali because kailangan kong uh, mag ano uh, yung general weighted average ko uh, yung yung grades ko kailangan uh, may maintaining grade eh, para makuha ko pa rin yung scholarship that time so I, yun, so I work hard in it but I was just chill but chill lang ako actually lahat ng organization ng time na yun pilit sa sasalihan ko except sa math so yun um even sa mga contest halos lahat pilit sa salihan ko except lang sa dancing and uh, sa mga group uh, kailangan ng group uh, so yun ang reason ko naman for being that active kasi nung time na dun sa mga contest parang sabi ng mga teachers exempted ka so nagtry ako and then eventually uh Ayun, uh, di ko alam na nagka na nagpipick na pala ako ng interest din sa mga sa management. So, really, habang tumatagal yung semester, uh, lumalaki din yung gastos ng institution. Nahihirapan na uh, ng scholarship ko that time. Buti na lang uh, sabi sa akin ng mga teachers ko, why not try applying for student assistant sa school. Nagrant naman din agad kasi kilala na, kilala na ako sa school that time. Tapos I became, uh, yung first day ko was being the student assistant to the school's marketing assistant. Nakakatawa eh, no? Oh. I was the assistant to the marketing assistant. Yeah. Oh. Tapos yung first day ko, nung pagiging student assistant ko sa kanya, is uh, talking to people about the school. Eh, wala akong idea by that time. Parang bigla lang papitirapan ako, gano'n. Tapos parang after that, tawa siya ng tawa kasi I was... Really stupid nung sinasabi ko na hindi ko alam kung kailangan kong sabihin. So, but eventually, uh, nakuha ko naman din yung kung paano gagawin kasi pinanonood ko siya, pinakinggan ko siya. And then after a week, I guess, na pag-observe ko sa kanya, finally, I get it. So, ayun. Uh, because naging student assistant ako plus scholar ako ng test at that time, parang almost na-cover yung ano yung laki ng tuition Unfortunately um nung time na malapit na akong gumraduate talagang yung lumaki talaga lumobo talaga yung tuition kasi siguro ang dami na rin talagang kailangan gawin plus ang dami projects na kailangan asikasuhin so sobrang gapang talaga kami noon and uh, uh akong gumraduate uh, pero yun I graduated after I graduate sabi ko, kailangan ko talaga maghanap ng work agad. Yung iba kasi, di ba, nag-take ng rest. Pero ako hindi. I really need to, to land on a job fast. Kasi nga, ang hirap ng buhay. Eh. So, kailangan mong kumilos din agad. So, yun. Thank you, Sir Mark, for sharing um, your great and enriching experiences when you were a student. So, maganda po talaga that we um, learn on every part of our journey. So with um, with all the things that Sir Mark ha- has been sharing to us, uh, ang nakita ko, Sir Mark learned to be resilient. Kung ano yung naging situation niya, nung part by part ng journey niya, gum- nag-isip siya ng paraan on how to push through with his study. And yun, uh, parang, parang looking back, maybe... Uh, may konting mga sacrifice noon pero it led you to where you are now and that's very inspirational sir and with that sir I'd like to ask I'd like to ask you sa lahat po ng pinagdaanan nyo na yon, lahat po ng mga bagay na ginawa ninyo in order to make it to where you are now um, which from among those um, parts of your journey ano, saan po kayo doon pinaka proud saan po kayo doon pinaka pinagmamalaking yung po talaga na nagawa ninyo? Pinaka-proud ako na nangyari during all those times na experiences ko is when I delivered a speech during the commencement exercise after I was awarded Student of the Year. Uh, sabi ko nga sa'yo, muntik na ako hindi gumraduate. Nung time kasi na yun, uh, hindi ko pa nasasettle yung accounts ko nung morning eh, yung graduation ay after me. But eventually, may nangyari that led me to to eventually pay my remaining balance. Tapos, dun ko nakuha yung toga ko at saka yung invitation ko. 
Tapos ura-urada kami pumunta dun sa commencement exercise. Pero nagpa-practice na ako ng commencement exercise that time. So, yun. Pero yung time mismo talaga ng commencement exercise, kailangan mo kasi talaga mo siya masettle. I understand that kasi, ano yun eh, uh, school policy. Kasi pag, kung ako, pagbibigyan ako dun sa bagay na yun, bakit, at least sana pinagbigyan na lang din yung iba, di ba? Na hindi, na hindi, na hindi naka, uh, makabayad nung time na yun. So, I really understand yung yung pagiging strict ng process nila that time. Uh, what made me be proud about it is because kahit ganun yung nangyari, nakikita mo dun sa management and sa mga teachers sa faculty and lahat ng tao dun sa paligid mo, naniniwala, naniniwala sila dun sa journey na meron ako right now. At lahat ng sinasabi ko during the speech ng commencement exercise. After that, after I gave that Uh, after I gave the speech, nagtayuan yung mga lahat ng tao sa paligid and they gave me a standing ovation and all the applause. Tapos parang, and one of the management na sabi nga, they never heard such a speech like that. Kasi sinabi ko talaga lahat yung, yung, yung journey ko na muntik na ako di makagraduate. Pero alam ko na yung mga tao sa paligid ko ay naniniwala, nakakayanin ko. And ginapang talaga namin, eventually we did it. So, yeah. Thank you, sir. And that's very inspiring. I mean, um, look at where you are now and looking back, talagang malaki yung difference. And now, from your story, now you are inspiring students to create maybe a similar or a better story na i-embark nila sa journey nila as they reach their dreams. And yun niya, sir, after your student life comes another chapter of your life and it's Um, landing on a job. So, can you please share to us your first job? Thank you, sir. Mark. Okay. Uh, my first job was um, I was a layout artist uh, in a small uh, printing company before. But I never actually uh, di ako masyado nagtagal dun. Parang isang week lang ako dun. And then after that, nagkasakit kasi ako. <laughs> Tapos that's when Team OPS came in to uh, parang bigla silang tumawag and I found na this is a better opportunity for me. So I grabbed it. Uh, naman naging, wala naman naging problema dun sa past job ko before kasi uh, meron silang replacement during that time. So, mm. yun. So that's how I learned. Technically, my first job was my was Team OPS but uh, by, ano, by default. <laughs> So, 12 years, 12 years, right, sir? 12 years na po yes, kayo yes, sa years. Team OPS. Now, sir, um, of course, nag, nag-iisip ang mga students natin ngayon na mga ritualian. Um, they may be thinking, what are the strategies did you apply during the, that time para makapag-learn po kayo dun sa job niya? Meron kayo noon at meron pa rin kayo hanggang ngayon. Okay. I honestly, no? During that time, I don't have an actual strategy, but I do have a motivation. And that motivation was I really need to land a job. Any job, actually. Yeah. Pwede kahit na ano. Basta mag- mag-land lang ako sa job. And probably, yung motivation ko on uh, finding and landing on a job because of my family. Kasi, um made me feel confident dun sa mga interviews na napuntahan ko, specifically dito sa Team OPS. And uh, sabi ko, kahit na anong sabihin nila, I have to say yes to it. I mean, yung mga parts na mga challenges, uh, or kung kaya ko ba to, I would, I'll, I'll automatically say yes. Because sabi nga nila, no, fake it till you make it. Di parang gano'n. <laughs> parang ang gagawin ko lang na, ang ginawa ko lang talaga nun kasi gusto ko talagang makapasok na ng job na yun so yung confidence level ko nun ay medyo kakaiba <laughs> so nakita siguro yung potential ko actually uh, my boss that time told me the reason why they picked me is because of that untapped potential daw probably because dun sa confidence na pinakita ko sa kanila during the interview it really helped also yung mga parts ng journey mo na ikaw ay naging student assistant, nagkaroon ng mga mm-hmm. sideline jobs while you were studying and maybe that's um, 
that really help uh, nung mga panahon na mag-apply ka ng job. And I, I also agree, even until now, now that I'm I'm working, we are working, we really have to yeah. fake it until we make it. <laughs> and yes, confidence yes, yes, yes. is really the key um, to be successful. Kasi ang unang-una dapat magtiwala sa sarili natin ay tayo. And thank you for reminding us that, nice. Sir Mark. Yes, yes. Thank you. So now, sorry that you are um, on a premier company. Um, ano po yung masasabi niya na sobrang proud kayo na kayo ay part ng Team OPS Incorporated? Times. I'm just, uh, kasi nasama sila sa Entrepreneur Magazine before na one of the top com- top tech companies to watch for. Hmm. Uh, nung time na yun, kasama na ako nung, nung team na yan. So, one of the, one of, siguro yun yung masasabi ko na one of the proudest things that I can say is kasama ako nung team na yun when, when they were interviewed to be as one of the top tech companies to watch for. And, um, Siguro, uh, marami actually eh. Marami akong masasabi na, na proud. Naging proud ako because of the career that I have. One of which is... And uh, you can uh, give us um, an overview of the things that you are really proud about on your career. Thank you, sir, for sharing. Continue, sir. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Actually, one is, one of which is yung ano, uh, one of the artworks that I did there uh was chosen in uh, in an event in Game Development Association of the Philippines, G. The other one was yes, I became part of the uh, the this the, of this book, the, uh, the Filipino Pride uh, book. And another was one of my works were uh, being featured in an article in Guam, USA. Mm. And another was. Uh, I've became part of the team that uh, uh, that produced the first Filipino theme game on Android and iOS. That's uh, Sipa Street Cake. And then um, all those times uh, we got an inter. Uh, no, I've been interviewed on TV uh, from ABS, GMA, and uh, QTV Eleven that time, and uh, TV Five. So all because of those projects that we've been through, that we work on. But I guess the most, uh, my most significant, uh, the proudest that I can say is, looking back, is the wisdom that I get from all those, all those mistakes, regrets, and learnings. You can't replicate it overnight. That wisdom, di ba? Parang yung experiences na nakuha mo, na na-accumulate mo all those times, yun I guess yung masasabi kong my proudest in my career. Um, it's dawning on me too. So, at times when you think that you are making a lot of failures, but eventually these failures lead you to where you are now to becoming successful on the field you've chosen. And sir, um, why should students um, embark on information and communications technology or into multimedia art? Bakit po dapat silang mag, mag-duel or i- i-chase po nila yung pangarap nila na maging part din ng field po ninyo? Bakit po sa tingin nyo that nila i-try po ito? Thank you, sir. Um... Kasi exciting siya. <laughs> De, honestly, you know, ang daming nangyayari right now sa information tech. Actually, anything na may kinalaman sa tech ay ang daming nangyayari sa kanya. Sa, actually, kanina banggit ko na parang I was afraid to to take this, to, to, to take the course because I'm not a really a computer uh, fan guy that time. Mm-hmm. Pero I did. And uh, eventually, it's one of the the great decisions that I made. Uh, kasi hindi ko rin naman alam na magiging ganito pala yung future ng tech uh, in the coming years. And look at it now. Back in mm-hmm. 2006, sobrang kukunti pa lang ang mga computer shops. Tapos parang naalala ko pa noon eh, nung 2004 yata yun. Nag-produce yung... Nang, nang may project kami noon. Tapos parang yung isa sa mga klase ko nag-produce ng computer-generated na 
nakapi nung project, just ko A plus agad yun. Kasi mm. kami, di ba, the drawing, drawing, and look at it right now. Ang dami nang nangyayari sa tech right now. So, why not pursue it at this rate? Kasi sobrang nandito na talaga siya papunta. Any businesses can can benefit with the with IT and the, multi, and the multimedia industry right now. I, I really think that it's the golden age of information technology. But in lahat talaga, everything is run by technology. And yun nga, um, sa una, meron tayong mga takot, doubts, and fears to do something. But if we really want it, i-pursue lang natin and chase natin yung dream natin. Just like Sir Mark, ayan na siya ngayon. Um, he's been um, from places to um, do things like this and we are honored na i-share niya yung lahat ng ng natutunan niya and, at naging niya during the process and, and his journey. Now sir, can you please give our Ritualians some pieces of advice and tips on um on how to become successful in the future? Pwede niyo po ba silang bigyan ng mga tips and pieces of advice on how to become successful in the future? Okay. Uh, Ritualians, okay. Um, I'm addressing every one of you. <laughs> um, the, pieces, the pieces of advice that I can give you is that uh, first, learn from the basics. And from the basics, try to explore and experiment. Uh, so everything must start with the basics. So no matter what you're doing right now, if you know the basics, you won't go, uh, you won't go astray. You can't go astray. So always go back to the basics. Just in case you found yourself lost somewhere else, balik lang kayo sa umpisa, balik lang kayo dun sa basic, and then you, you might find your, your way back to the road again. Another thing is, wag kayong matakot magkamali. Don't be afraid to fail because your failures doesn't because your failures doesn't mean that you're that you won't get to be successful someday. Mm -hmm. Actually success is success a failure is not the opposite of success. Success is not the opposite of failure. What is the opposite of success is actually not doing anything. If you don't do anything, san ka nga naman talaga pupunta, di ba? Wala ka, hindi ka nga nagkamali, pero hindi ka rin nagtagumpay. So, don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to make, to make mistakes. Bata pa kayo, you can, you can do a lot of it. Sabi nga ni Jack Ma, parang when you're in your 20s, just do a lot of uh, mistakes. Parang, and then learn from it. Learn from those mistakes. And then lastly, I guess, uh, Everybody is a beginner at first. So if you find yourself na hindi motivated, sabihin nyo lang sa sarili nyo na lahat naman nag-start na hindi marunong. But what makes you a master is when you start to, to continue on trying. Kasi sabi nga nila, di ba, in reality, no, lahat naman pinanganak na baby sa so umpisa, di ba? Tapos, yung baby na yun, hindi naman agad nagsasalita yun. Hindi rin agad nakakalakad, nakakatakbo. Ang ginagawa lang niya ay... Kung ano yung ginagawa ng baby, di ba? Alam niya naman yun. Hindi eh. sila nakakapagsalita, hindi sila nakakatakbo. But eventually, they will learn how to talk. They will learn how to crawl. Eventually, makakapaglakad na sila. Tapos makakatakbo, mangungulit na. Mag-grow sila and magmamature. So paano nangyari yun? Nangyari lang yun all because they are trying. They are observing. So keep on trying, keep on observing. And always remember everybody is just uh, is a, is a beginner at first. So believe in yourself and just do what you want. <laughs> it's life. You know. Thank you very much, Sir Mark, Simon, Dilong, for sharing everything that are very important in life in career and um, in life in particular. So maraming maraming salamat po for 
um, sharing your knowledge and your experiences um, that are really um, insightful para sa ating mga rich Wellian. And we really thank you from the bottom of our heart. And we wish to see you around our campus once everything is normal again. Maraming maraming salamat po. And we hope na patuloy pa po mag-flourish at mag-grow and mag-develop ang inyong um, network at patuloy pa po uh, maging successful ang Team OPS. We wish you all the best and thank you very much. Um, this is where we end our discussion. Richelian, I hope that the life and experiences of Sir Mark Simon Binong will be um, instrumental and inspirational in order for you to achieve success and prosperity. Once again, good day and God bless us all. Thank you, Paulette, Sir Mark.